Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install CurseForge, which lets you install mod packs with just a few clicks. So the first thing you'll want to do is head over to this website, www.curseforge.com. A link for all of this stuff will be in the description. Uh, then at the moment, in the top left you can see it says Get Desktop. We're going to go ahead and click on that, and it should take us to a different web page. Once you're here, what you want to do is click Download for Windows, and then save the file somewhere. Once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and run this uh, installer just by double-clicking it. Then you might get a pop-up asking for um, the app to make changes to your device. You can just go ahead and click yes. After you click yes, it might take a really long time to load. At the moment, it's taking me a few minutes, uh, so do be patient. It might not seem like it's doing anything, but it still is loading in the background. So after a little while, this will pop up. Then you can go ahead and click next. So what it's going to do here is it's going to install um, Overwolf. And then CurseForge is actually an app within Overwolf. Um, so I've already got it installed, so I can't actually change the folder here. But if you wanted, you could change where it's going to install Overwolf to. Um, and then I'm going to set it up to have a shortcut for CurseForge. If you want a shortcut as well for Overwolf, you can do that too. And then just accept the uh, terms and conditions. If you want to read these, you can. Go ahead and click Next. Um, mine's obviously already installed, so I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Keep. And it should start installing. Now, keeping in mind, I've already installed this before, so some steps might be different to me that I, I don't remember. So if any of these steps are different for you, please do let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll uh, make a pinned comment if there is something different on what you should do in that situation. Uh, but it should be the, pretty much the same. It, it's a pretty straightforward installation. Um, and at this point, we should just wait. So here we go. CurseForge and Overwolf successfully installed. We'll go ahead and click... Oh, it's, apparently, it's going to send us a pop-up to say thank you for installing. Uh, that's fine with me. We're going to click Launch, and this should launch CurseForge. We should also have a CurseForge icon on our desktop because we had that option ticked when we installed it. So now this will start loading. Hopefully it won't take too long. All right, so after a little bit, this window has popped up, and it's apparently forging my library. So we'll wait a little bit longer, and I'll show you guys how to actually install the mod pack, how to launch it up, and where you would, you know, go to join a server. So once you load it up, you might have something like this that pops up. Um, that's essentially the latest update. You can read up about what they've done differently. You can see there's bug fixes. There's some pretty cool stuff about Fabric here I'll have to read up on later. But we can go ahead and close that with a little cross. Uh, these mod packs I already have installed um, because I've obviously uh, gotten Curse Flood before. You might start on this page right here, in which case you would click on Minecraft and it would load up this spot. You might have to um, select Minecraft or do something like that, in which case... You just follow the prompts. It should be pretty straightforward. Um, if it's not, once again, let me know in the comments and I'll try and figure out how to, you know, get a tutorial going for that. Um, but it should be pretty straightforward. Um, now, for installing mod packs, what you want to do is click on Browse Mod Packs here. So we're in the Minecraft tab on the left and we've clicked Browse Mod Packs. This will take a little bit to load, but it's essentially loading every single mod pack there is uh, on CurseForge. So once this is loaded up, you can go ahead and, I don't know, scroll through this list if you want. You can sort them by different amounts, or you can even search for whatever mod pack you want. Um, so I'll probably go for a, a fabric mod pack because they honestly load pretty fast. So what you would normally do is you would find the mod pack you want, and then simply click install. It would start installing. You can click back, go to my mod packs, and it will be installed right here. Um, for this example, I'll show you how to install a specific version because I want to get that same fabric mod pack that I already have, but this time it says play because I've already got it installed. Um, if I wanted to, I could go back into my mod packs, click this little button here which changes the version, um, and then if we wait a little bit, it should pop up with some information. Sure enough, here we go, there's more information here. So you can click this little menu here and select whatever version you want. So that's what we're currently on. You can pick whichever version the server you're trying to join is on or, or just the latest if you're just playing by yourself. Um, if you click update to new profile, what that will do is instead of updating this one, it will create a duplicate one, but of the later version. So that's how you do that. Um, but if we want to install just a specific version, let's say a server that you're going to join um, isn't on the latest version and you know this uh, before installing, you can click on it here, click these, uh, oh, no, not those three dots, sorry. What you want to do is click versions here. So I'll just run through that again because it might have messed up there. Click on the mod pack, click on this version tabs there, uh, version tab there. Then you can find the version you want. It might be a little tricky to read. This is the game version and that's different to the mod pack version. So that's just telling you that we're on this version of Minecraft, whereas this over here, this number in the actual file name, 2.8.4, is the version of the mod pack. So when people ask you for the mod pack version, that's usually what they're talking about. Um, and you can normally also see it. Um, you can normally also see it on the my mod packs page. 
It's this black um, text right here. So these numbers there. That's the modpack version. All right, <laughs> back to installing it. So we go back to that versions tab. And then let's say we want the latest one here, 2.8.4. We're going to go ahead and click this little install arrow here. So it's an arrow pointing down to a line. We click that. We don't click this one, which is a server pack. That's for if you're wanting to host the server yourself. Um, so if you're just trying to download the mod pack, whether it's to join a server or to play single player, you want to click this install and it should get installing. Yep, we can scroll back up and you can see it's installing here. Um, now this will take a while. This will take a little while. So you're better off just sitting back, relaxing and waiting. You can also go back to the My Mod Packs and we should see it right here, downloading there. And pretty much you just have to wait. Alrighty, so after you've waited a little while, it should be ready to go, and you can tell because it says play right here. And what you want to do is go ahead and click play. Now, when you do this the first time, you might have to sign into your Minecraft account. I've just realized you probably have to do that. Uh, I think it remembers my account because I've had this before, so once again, that'll be a little different um, on your end compared to mine. Um, but you can just install, uh, not install, sorry, just um, put in your details, email address, password, all that fun stuff. So after it's done, you don't want to click play again or else it'll try to load a second uh, instance. Currently, it's, I think, downloading the Minecraft version because maybe when I reinstalled it, it actually did reinstall it, <laughs> which is what I had hoped for this tutorial. Um, so I guess let it do its thing. After that tiny window eventually disappears, keep waiting for a few more mi uh, few more minutes. I think it actually only took me about 30 seconds, uh, but it did feel like it was taking a long time. Then the actual Minecraft launcher should load. At the moment, mine's not responding. Oh, try not to click it like I just did, um, but just give it some time and, and it'll sort things out. Alrighty, once it finally loads, you should be able to see that you signed it in the bottom right. You should see your username there. And in the bottom left right here, you should be able to see all of Fabric or whatever mod pack you're playing. It should it should be different to the normal, you know, uh, latest release or any of that. It should say whatever your mod pack is. So in this instance, it's all of Fabric, but if you're doing all of the mods, if you're doing RL Craft, if you're doing Pixelmon, it should say something different. So make sure that it's, you know, not vanilla and it should say Forge or, or Fabric or something. And then go ahead and click play. And that's essentially it. That'll launch the mod pack. Everything should be loaded. Everything should be good to go. And now to join a server, you join it just like you would in normal vanilla Minecraft. You click on the multiplayer tab, you click direct connect and you put in the IP, or you click on add server, you put in the IP, you save it. It's that simple. Um, I was going to show that, but I realized that's probably just extra time in this video that isn't needed. So we'll leave it there. If this did help you, please do consider subscribing. It helps out my channel quite a bit. And once again, if you have any questions, please do let me know in the comments. And I can either redo this video if I completely miss something or mess something up. Um, or I can just, you know, help you with the small issue that it is. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for spending your time here. And hopefully I will see you guys around on the channel in the future. Or at the least, hopefully you can play some modern Minecraft now. So, goodbye. Actually, just before I go, just want to add, this is taking a little while. So the, the main thing with modded, especially if you're new to modern Minecraft, is patience. You gotta give quite a lot of patience. Things take a long time to get started and to load up. Once you're in the game though, normally it's pretty fast. Even joining servers or single player worlds, it can take a little while. Um, depending on your hardware, depending on everything. Even with the best of stuff, it's still pretty slow. So, patience is a virtue. Alright, goodbye.